It's enough to make a clown frown. But can party balloons really save your life in a 35 mile an hour fender bender? To find out, the Mythbusters control car is about to crash land. All right, we ready to drop the clown car? In three, two, one. Woo! I don't think those clowns survived. To the naked eye, the 35 mile an hour head on looks horrific. But survival is all about the GLO, where anything over 100 means there's been a clown catastrophe. Now, the driver with seatbelt experienced 150 Gs. That's well over our benchmark for fatality. But even more interesting, the passenger that didn't have a seatbelt on or an airbag experienced 630 on the chest and 340 on the head. That is devastating. It's going to be really interesting to see if the balloons will have any impact on the numbers. So cue clown car two. Another day, another clown car. Like the control test, the driver clown is buckled up while the passenger isn't. Think this wig absorbed any of the energy? But unlike the control test... Tore, it's fun time! Drop two will have the mythical balloon barrier. All right, now it's time to put the balloons in the car. Now the theory here is these balloons are going to act as an airbag. Now, the goal of any airbag is to slow the passenger's forward motion as evenly as possible in just a fraction of a second. I'm not sure these balloons are going to function that way, but it's sure going to be fun to find out. All right, this is Clown Car Drop with balloons. Are you ready? OK, in three, two, one. Negative one. Oh. Now that is what I call a party. I don't think they survived it, though. Once again, the crash was a smash. As the passenger pushed past the balloon barrier and wiped out on the windshield. All right, Dave, the big question on everyone's minds, did the balloon save the clown's life? So in the first drop with no balloons, the passenger saw 340 Gs at the head, 630 Gs at the chest. In the drop with the balloons, the passenger saw 350 Gs to the head and 620 at the chest. So the results are pretty much the same. The balloons didn't do anything for him. Almost no difference at all. Thanks for your help. Come on, I'll show you my balloon animals. Woohoo! So it turns out an average bunch of party balloons is not enough to save your life in a car crash. But it's not such an outlandish idea. An airbag is an inflatable, and so is a balloon. Maybe there is a balloon out there or a configuration of balloons that we could make that would save your life in a car wreck. In other words, the myth may be down, but burst, it ain't.